efforts to integrate alternative transportation methods go less than smoothly. Annyeong haseo and welcome to Awful Advent, a countdown of 13 holiday horror movies for the 13 days before Christmas. This year's theme is Scary Santas, and our 11th film examines the truth behind the original Santa, Sinterklaas. It's 2010's Sint. Sinterklaas is coming, only he's not the kind-hearted gift giver from stories. He's back for revenge, and it's up to a disgraced cop and a young fugitive to bring an end to his murderous terror. Sint is part of the subgenre of scary Santa movies that purport to tell the real story of Saint Nicholas. Another example would be Rare Exports, which I covered last year, or Santa Slay, which I discussed a few nights ago. In Sint, the real Sinterklaas was a murderous bishop whose reign of terror was brought to an end in 1492 when the people of Amsterdam burned him alive on his ship. The movie jumps ahead to 1968, where a young boy watches the demonic spirit of Sinterklaas murder his family. Cut to the present day, and that boy has become a cop obsessed with the holiday, his research showing that the real Sinterklaas returns when a full moon coincides with St. Nicholas Eve, just as it will this year. Like Santa's sleigh, Sint is about a Santa Claus returning to wreak havoc upon people who think he's just a myth, and it has many of the same problems as that movie. I argued that Santa's sleigh falls apart because Santa commits relatively little violence, and there's no broader response to what he's doing. In Sint, Sinter Claus is wreaking havoc throughout Amsterdam, rocking up a death toll in the hundreds. However, just as in Santa's sleigh, we don't see any of that or any of the consequences. Instead of a city descending into chaos, we get one man being harassed by the cops. This gives the impression that there's a very small, very specific haunting going on when that's not the case. On top of that, my copy of the movie opens with a warning about cultural stereotypes that are inconsistent with today's standards. And they meet Sinterklaas' companion, Black Pete. Part of the celebration of St. Nicholas Eve includes people dressing up as Black Pete, which means full-on blackface. And two characters do that here. They don't do more than that, but it's still blackface. And that would be enough for me to not recommend the film as something to play in the background at a holiday party. I mean, is that a conversation you want to have over candy canes and cookies? As for watching the movie on its own, I don't recommend that either. The flick doesn't hold together the way it needs to, and frankly, is kind of boring. 3 out of 5 Dutch Clutch Claws Malfunctions. Tomorrow, something else we've seen before that I wish would stop. Until then, stay safe and stay spooky.